Rivers are the lifeblood of our civilization. From ancient Mesopotamia to the sprawling cities of today, our journey has always been intertwined with our waterways. But our city's rivers, once the driver of economic progress, have now become an industrial relic to a bygone era. With edges of steel and devoid of nature, we stand at a crossroads. What's next? Enter Urban Rivers, an organization started with the idea of transforming our urban waterways into wildlife sanctuaries. In 2017, we did a Kickstarter campaign that led to the birth of a 50 meter long pilot garden floating in the Chicago River. From here, we partnered with the city of Chicago, and after an extensive community engagement process, we opened the first floating park of its kind, and it's called the Wild Mile. Here, wildlife and community converge, crafting a new future with our rivers. This floating park is a hub for community, art, ecology, hosting over 100 free events and becoming a learning space for over 1,000 students in 2023. And it's becoming the place where citizen scientists and academic researchers can experiment on ways to create a holistic approach for restoring our waterways. Every single aspect of the Wild Mile is built with the intention of restoring the ecosystem and providing habitat for local wildlife. Surrounded by floating gardens, cleansing the river, this park has created one of the most diverse ecological centers of the city. And we are just getting started. The next phase is set to be installed in spring of 2024. This section will be centered around a floating forest, providing habitat for more wildlife and providing a space for residents to cool off and enjoy the river. This is the vision for Urban Rivers. It's a testament to what's possible when we reimagine our relationship with nature. It's also an invitation to the world, a playbook of sorts, to join in nurturing these lifelines of our past into vibrant corridors of our future.